So if we had to go with a number scale, I thought we would do that, this being the first episode. I did not uh, mention that this is the first episode, and this one, of course, will I'm be... I'm going to give it 100. I didn't know we were... Okay, so we're going to go... <laughs> I wasn't sure what kind of scale we were using, oh. you know, uh, oh. but I like the 100. I know I like the 100, because it's kind of a school thing. I mean, you can actually uh, put it into, uh, you know, A through F in that way. So if you give a movie a 66, that would be, unless you're, <laughs> unless you're grading on a curve, that would be uh, D well, or an F. I Simpson called from your school. It seems that we have a problem. You flunked your French final. She is worldly, sophisticated, alluring. Hello, Bobby. I'm Terry Green, your French tutor. He That's Karen Kay young. and Matt Latanzi. And Latanzi, is that the right pronunciation? I think so. I'm okay, sure. we'll go with that. In My Tutor, one of two movies that we're going to talk about today on the video station. I'm Jeff. I used to work at Video One in Thienesville. I'm, uh, well, call me John, and I used to work at TNR Video in Two Rivers, Wisconsin. That was your only video store. Rest in peace. I had like five. <laughs> I closed so many video stores. I had to box up tapes. It was very sad. Anyway, My Tutor is a movie from 1981. Three. 83 is better. <laughs> and, uh, oh, he has two versions, Blu-ray and DVD. Blu-ray is going to cost you quite a bit if you want to buy it right now. The DVD, I don't know, I didn't price out the DVD. Don't Old know. Rhino tape. Disc. You and this kid getting it on? He's ten times the lover you are. So lucky Matt Latanzi, known as Bobby, is having some troubles with his French homework. Actually, he has to take a French test in order to get out of high school. He failed. He failed. And uh, Kevin McCarthy, who is a very angry father. He flunked your French final. He wants his kid to go to Yale, just Once? like him. He badly to go to Yale. And I think he uh, gives his reasoning when the tutor asks why he's so important. He says, because! No kid of mine. Yeah, okay. So that's fine. So that I would say Kevin McCarthy is probably the he biggest name. He went to name. Yale. His kid's going to go to Yale, probably too. Probably the biggest name in that movie. Karen Kay did some work later, of course, on It's Crispin Your Crispin Glover! Crispin Glover, who is one of Bobby's oh, friends. Yeah. Film it's, debut. That's true. That's very true. I had a question about Crispin Glover's uh, character in this movie. Why is he dressed like a 1930s newsboy? <laughs> that doesn't come up. There's no reason for it. But he's wearing yeah. knickers. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. I, I have know. a feeling that was... Knowing what a quirky person Crispin Glover is, I have a feeling he demanded <laughs> that. That's why, he was, that's why he hadn't gotten laid yet. Crown International. That's a big point of this movie, isn't it? Crown International is the studio that put this out. And for those of you who like uh, this type of fare, you're all very familiar with Crown International. This was a drive-in movie. Uh, I think it played in a lot of drive-ins probably across America. And of course, it got... Even more legs on cable. cable. How many cable times television. have you seen this movie? Yeah. I've only seen it three times. So this is my third. I've seen it a, probably a hundred, and that's no exaggeration. We need to send him to a sex club. Very nostalgic <laughs> movie for me. Well, it is wish fulfillment, isn't it? <laughs> hey, when I was a teenager, you know, <laughs> I was a teenager when this crap came out, and man, with movies like this, it was great times. It's very healthy for him, I'm sure. <laughs> oh yeah. I love this movie. I've seen it so many times. I love it. I can recite the dialogue. I think it's funny. It's I an, honestly think there's funny lines. It's, there are some funny lines. And what's interesting is that it's trying to straddle two things. It actually is trying to say something about coming of age and uh, sensitive kid. Matt uh, Latanzi's character, uh, Bobby, seems to be a relatively sensitive kid. He's not just trying to uh, you know, score as most high school students are trying to do, um, but he actually seems to be kind of, well, they get into some interesting situations, too, in their attempts to score, uh, their first uh, being, they wind up at some kind of whorehouse. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to sugarcoat it, it's some kind of whorehouse. <laughs> it shockers and all the action. There's a lot of nudity. Karen Kay has her only nude scene there, she's ever done. There is a lot of nudity, but I will say... That it is tasteful. almost tastefully done, and it's not excessive. Very tasteful, those mud wrestlers <laughs> in the alley. I'm naked! <laughs> <laughs> 
I was going through the point way back when, the straddling two things, a kind of a coming-of-age story and then a Porky-style teen sex comedy. And it has all the trappings of that, like, um, you know, just the dorks who are kind of trying to get, doing anything to get laid. And then, but then there's this kind of sensitive story about a future astronomer <laughs> who wants to go to UCLA. It's not exactly the Carl Sagan story, but I think it will suffice. My tutor, it was on cable all over the place. Yep. I Cir- mean, where did you... Circa 1984, that's where I saw it. About 84, okay. 84, yeah. Like HBO, Cinemax, that sort of thing. All remember? of them. Okay, all <laughs> of them. They, yeah, I remember seeing it on Showtime. That's my original. I think I watched it with my brother, actually. And we just sat in silence, stone cold silence. I taped it in uh, late 84, early 85 on a Sony beta tape with War Games. There we go. I don't think I ever, I never actually had. No, that's not true. I did have my tutor on SP. I got it later on. I'm not sure how or why. But it's my tutor. If you can find it, uh, it's definitely a good sampling of the teen sex era. It was extensive, you know. I don't. They don't know. make them like this anymore. But man, really the eighties was just pump them out every year. I don't. I don't know if I would say this is a uh, the top sample. I mean, I'd say Porky's is like the top sample. Porky like, started it all, but you really, got the Last American yeah. Virgin and you got joysticks, which all of which we may cover here Harley on nights <laughs> on the video station. Um, so if we had to go with a number scale, I thought we would do that. This being the first episode, I did not uh, mention that this is the first episode, and this one, of course, will. I'm going to give it a hundred. I didn't know we were okay, so we're gonna go. I wasn't sure what kind of scale we we're using. I oh, know, uh, but oh. I like the hundred. I know I like the hundred because it's kind of a school thing. I mean, you can actually uh, put it into uh, you know A through F in that way. So if you give a movie a sixty-six, that would be unless you're unless you're grading on a curve, that would be a D well, or an F. I can tell you that th- I I have a list of movies that I watch once a year. I have a list of movies that I watch once every two years. This is an every two year movie. Although to be honest with you, I've watched it three years in a row. So I love this movie. It's our fault. He's I enjoyed quite, quite a bit. bit. If you really want a number score and from a one to one hundred, 100, yeah, absolutely, go for I'm it. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it an eighty-eight. <laughs> That's pretty high. I will. De- I will say a uh, seventy-two. I'm gonna go with a seventy-two. I think it's a uh, um, a great sample of a teen sex comedy. However, it. I guess I was a little put out for the sole reason that it didn't seem to know what it wanted to be. Are you a coming of age story or are you a teen sex comedy? I think people who are allowed for a teen sex comedy would be a little bored possibly by the more dramatic elements like, you know, him watching her swimming around and she has to come out and say, that's not fair. <laughs> I found that a little boring. It's not fair, Bobby. It's not fair. Well, the next night she didn't care at all. He's like, not Bobby. I guess it was fair. <laughs> My Twitter, you can find it out there. And uh, we'll be right back for our next, our next movie with, that deals My with meat pies. It's the best reason yet to become teacher's pet. If you've never been to paradise... Now is the time to see what you've been missing. At Paradise Video Stores, you'll find one of the state's largest video selections. And right now, while supplies last, rent five catalog videos, and you'll receive a pair of sunglasses or a sports watch free. At Paradise, you'll find the hottest new releases and all of your favorite classics. Come see what you've been missing at Paradise Video, open till midnight every day of the year. Did your version have the entrails being pulled out? No. Okay, I've read that there were some versions that didn't have it. I feel gypped! This one does. Son of a... The bloodthirsty butchers were mild-mannered people who couldn't stand blood or violence. We were talking about Andy Milligan. We were talking about uh, uh, (laughs) ineptness. And then we talk about ineptness behind the camera. Uh, Andy Milligan really seems to have nailed... Mm-hmm. Nailed it. Um, I would even say, and people always cite Ed Wood as the worst filmmaker of all time. I think Andy's got him. He's up there. But you know what my biggest problem with this movie was? What's the problem with this movie? I was bored. I was well, really it's not, bored. It's, yeah, uh, it's 78 minutes, though. Yeah, it's a, it's a <laughs> long 78 minutes, so good lord. Yeah, I will tell you, and I remember this distinctly, actually, a better title, The Rats Are Coming and the Werewolves Are, are Here, Worst Movie. That movie is the most <laughs> that boring. Bad, that one is bad, I, I have to say. If you like the color red, then you'll love the bloodthirsty butchers. To review the plot, which we kind of did a little bit, it's the Sweeney Todd story. We have the demon barber of Fleet Street, as they called him. Uh, he, uh, he kills people and kills then people. takes their bodies and sells them to the lady at the pastry shop who right. makes pies out of them. She's very cheerful. 
and she sells the pies, and people seem to love the pies. Yeah, I mean, they people are they're high in demand. In fact, someone comes back and asks for a refund because there's a clump <laughs> of hair that's right in their pie. Yeah, so <laughs> yes, it was side splitting. Be careful of the hair. There was a hank of hair found in one of the last pies. Mustn't get careless, Tobias. We have work to do. Anyway, um, what more can you say about Bloodthirsty Butchers? Should you watch it? I mean, if you're a connoisseur of bad cinema, which clearly, for $100, <laughs> he is, and I am, um, I don't regret watching it, and I have to be careful if we're going to use our 1 to 100 scale, which is now patented by the video station here. The 1 to 100, I think we'll be the first video mm -hmm. movie review site ever to use a 1 to 100 scale. I'm very excited by this. And if you run it through that, you have to take into account that this is a horror movie, so actually it should get zero. It really should get zero. That being said, did I have a good time watching it? I kind of did. So I'm going to go straight down the middle and give this thing a 50. <laughs> no. I um, overshot. <laughs> no. This is, gonna, this, this is a solid 22. Wow. The only thing that was good it's for this movie were the boobs. <laughs> right. That's what, oh, and that intro scene was fantastic. There you go. So, Bloodthirsty Butchers, I guess watch it. No. If you're doing a paper, if you're writing a paper on Andy Milligan, or if you're doing a paper on ineptitude in filmmaking. Find a shorter movie. There we go. That's the video station for this week. We hope you enjoyed it. It's our first episode. Uh, go watch his channel. It's uh, Schlockmeisters, and he talks about movies just like this all the time. And we'll put a link. And there will be a link, certainly. And uh, if you have anything that you'd like us to review, we certainly would happily take requests. Uh, we'll be back next week with... Uh, not next week. We're actually doing this every two weeks. So we'll be back in two weeks. You'll be here in two weeks? I think so. Okay. Unless you won't be. I'll be here. He of little faith. Um, he has every reason to have little faith. Anyway, <laughs> I'm back always with, here. <laughs> back with two more movies, and until then, the basement is closed. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the credits. <laughs> that works. All right, we're cool. done. Yeah, that was easy. Let's go watch Ruggis. See the whole bloody mess here soon at this theater.